scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. For as long as you look at what causes you pain, it will keep growing. You stand in front of your office that threw you out and you meditate on that office. And the pain continues to increase and breaks your spirit and the bible says no man can indefinitely bear a wounded spirit a wounded spirit is like hemorrhage as you continue to bleed you die that's why people die slowly we say they died of headache no they died of this sin of losing joy I was told of a true story that armed robbers came to someone's house. They were shouting, shooting guns and so on and so forth. And the wife tapped him and said, armed robbers are there. And he said, what's the meaning of that? Why is she tapping him? And eventually she summoned courage and went out. You know, she was blasting in tongues and went out. And eventually the people ran away. She came back and met the man dead. Who died? Not the one who went to challenge the robbers. Fear fear that guy's spirit bled and he entered into a state of coma and died your spirit is you some of you already are half dead god brought you here tonight for that restoration he restored my soul he restored my soul he does not restore your soul by giving you food. He gives you joy. Joy, exceeding joy, full of glory. That's why sometimes you see people under the anointing, you see them laughing. That is, that is, that is a surgery happening. They are laughing under the anointing. You don't know. They, that's mighty victory being wrought in the spirit. They don't know why. They are laughing on behalf of the, the, the Bible. Let me tell you, every time God is about to judge, he first laughs. Psalm 2. Let me show you something. We're about to pray. Psalm 2. Mighty God. Psalm chapter 2, please. And then we'll pray. Is God helping anybody this night? Yes. Psalm chapter 2. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, Mina. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I will rejoice no more crying no more complaining i maintain my joy because i know that it is in joy that intervention comes that's how it works psalm 2 look up why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against what the lord and his anointed verse 3 says let us break their bands asunder that's what they are saying now and cast away their cords from us verse 4 hallelujah read it if you're a christian one to read he that seated in the heavens shall hold on now that laughter is to activate power you will see it closely the laughter is not be, is, is not sarcasm even God needs joy for that. <laughs> the Lord shall have them in derision. Verse 5. 
then he shall speak to them in what have you ever seen somebody who wants to fight and starts laughing <laughs> you are not aware that that laughter is priming the power and the fortitude to fight that's the kind of laugh the bible says god is doing it is true this is scripture that the lord sits in the heaven and laughs and immediately he will speak to them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure in the midst of the pain stay in joy in the midst of the crisis stay in joy in the midst of the disappointment stay in joy apostle they robbed my shop and carried everything stay in joy don't lose your joy you're about to lose everything apostle my husband is threatening divorce stay in joy don't move around telling everybody something that they cannot solve stay in joy apostle they just stole my car let me tell you how to get the car back stay in joy once you turn your face and start meditating on that pain it starts growing you will never have a car soon again apostle they spoke about me and said all kinds of untrue things about me stay in joy it's cheaper than explaining yourself stay in joy let god speak for you stay in joy hallelujah i rejoice in the god of my salvation i rejoice in the god of my salvation the mighty one who can rise up and turn things around let me tell you something about god before we pray listen don't get used to god's silence he is quick don't get used to god's silence god can arise like the mighty man that he is and with a dimension of speed you cannot tell he will come to your life and save you even his coming the bible it says is in a twinkling of an eye we are caught up god is not slack concerning his promises apostle where will i get the money to build my house it's in your joy not in the bank your joy is a trusted source of finance than your bank where will the fresh anointing come upon there are people who are anointed but the anointing is not fresh joy joy i have seen more miracles in my life as a result of joy than prayer it's difficult for you to believe this but it's true i'm a man of prayer you know i pray a lot and i bless god for the grace to pray but i know what joy does I have used joy as the classic proof that God has answered me. When I pray and I don't have joy, I remain there. But by the time joy comes, though weeping endures for a night, how you know the morning has come is joy. How you know there is night is weeping. You don't use darkness to know it is night. You use weeping. Every time you cry, it's a testimony that is darkness. You don't use the brightness of the sun to know that it's morning. The moment joy begins to come, God is saying, you're morning. Ah. You have turned my morning into dancing. And you have turned my sorrow into joy. So, Apostle, how do I know it's a new season? Check your joy check your joy the same way your joy seizes as proof that darkness is around you you just know that i i lost joy and i lost peace did the bible not say every time righteousness peace and joy coexist the kingdom is within that place i check my joy the days many of you have have allowed cheap victories to pass and i'll tell you very quickly before we pray you got up in the morning or in the middle of the night and you are happy for reasons you cannot tell has it happened to anybody here you are so excited i'm happy you would have capitalized on that situation to establish the victory but because you did not have understanding even you you were surprised let me tell you your spirit had seen something in the realm of the spirit and it was passing it to you to act it out in faith so that it will be established after crying over the rent issue you just went to bed and you woke up with exceeding joy 
that's the time to rejoice because it means the father of spirits has gone somebody has woken up from his sleep because of you if you know what to do that's the time to say lord i don't know what you are doing but the joy is telling me my morning has come three things you do the moment the joy of god comes number one listen you verbalize it and declare words are powerful number two as god grants you grace if you can sow into that joy because when you sow into joy it can reap harvest immediately you reap in joy listen to me you can turn any situation around when you understand this mystery of joy it is an oil and it, that oil must come on someone's head today in the name of jesus christ joy this works for me very much every time god wants to bring a new anointing to my life there is extreme joy extreme i cannot explain sometimes it will last for days sometimes it will last for weeks and i begin to sense that god is calling me and in the place of prayer i'm not even interceding or praying for anything i know as that joy is happening i tell you sincerely listen to me pay attention to what i tell you is because new wine is being poured in you i know this the joy of the lord is my strength I live a very busy schedule, very busy schedule, but his strength has kept me physically because of joy. I rejoice. Satan has lost it over my tears since. He has no opportunity to see it again. I have mastered the art of cheating life. My tears. God is faithful. We are going to do three things right now. Number one, we're going to rise and in the next five minutes, my time is up, but I will give you an opportunity by yourself and alone with God in this vigil. You are going to find a way of singing a song of praise and say, Lord, my joy is back. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to win. I'm tired of giving my victory to the devil. I am a believer and I am strong. I obtain my joy back by faith. Some of you will need to sing songs. Some of you will need to stand and worship him and take your eyes away from the pain. Take your eyes away from the sickness. Take your eyes away from the bills. Take your eyes away from the budget. Take your eyes away for a while. They looked unto him and they were, their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. And then number two, I will share one more scripture with you on how to have the fullness of joy. And then we will pray. I promise you that I will not keep you long. Can we pray? Rise up on your feet, please. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the of the Lord it is my strength. joy god is bringing renewal refreshing bringing your dream alive again bringing your hope alive again letting you know that the god of heaven will never leave you he will never forsake you take your eyes away from the lack of children lack of this life. just take your eyes away fix your eyes on jesus Hallelujah.
now listen I want you in the next two or three minutes just talk to the Lord and say my joy is restored I worship you I refuse to give up my joy I gave up my money I will not give up my joy I gave up my peace I will not give up my joy go ahead talk to God Shout! 2019, you came to receive a baptism of joy afresh. When there is no joy, there is no progress. When there is no fullness of joy, life will squeeze you into a mold and defeat you cheaply. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. I don't see the challenges, I refuse to see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Come on, sing it, Mina. Hey. It's you that I see. You are here working miracles I worship you I worship you you are here turning lives around I worship you I worship you let me give you a reason to maintain your joy listen Miracle walk, promise king, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hold on, guys. Rejoice knowing this. There is an information that you know. Waymaker, miracle walk, light in the darkness. It's not what you do that is who you are so I rejoice what does it take oh God for you to give me a job what does it take for you to give me a child all it takes is your will your will your willingness is the raw material what does it take for you to bring me out of that situation what does it take for you to exalt me we make miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my God that is who you are listen here's how Apostle Paul said it he said rejoice in the Lord always it's not an advice it's an instruction rejoice in the Lord always and in case you forget let me repeat again I say that means for your own good is a prescription to keep you in victory rejoice in the Lord but I found out that there is also a realm called complete joy you can have joy 
but not have the fullness of joy let me show you how to have the fullness of joy jesus himself taught us john 16 24. never forget this scripture for the rest of your life we're going to read it together and then now we pray please read with me mina ready one to read hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name ask and ye shall receive why that your joy may be full look up it is true that joy brings harvest but harvest too brings joy hello it is true that joy brings results but results too bring joy so i use my joy to get the results that will multiply my joy to get more results that will multiply my joy until my joy is full and jesus said somewhere in your joy equation there must be receiving that there are times if you don't receive something your joy cannot be complete it is true that whether the house rent is there or not you should have joy but what if you rejoice with the house rent in your hand it is true that whether you have a house or not you should rejoice but what if you rejoice with the keys now in your hands it is true that you should rejoice whether the child comes or not but what if you stand and hold triplets let me tell you results can produce joy results can produce joy ask Sarah results can produce joy ask the people who are about to be disgraced in a wedding feast when wine finished results can produce joy ask 5,000 hungry men minus women and children results can produce joy weep not thou that didst not bear burst forth into singing because many are the children of her that is without child let me tell you this he says ask and that's what we are going to do now that you may receive so that your joy mina will be full i loved god whether i was anointed or not and i truly had joy but my joy is full now that he has anointed me because i am happy are we together now i love god whether i had five naira in my pocket or not but now at least i can bring out ten naira to eat with i am happy results can multiply joy results can prime your joy to the full many of you your joy is on reserve is there but it's on reserve some half tank oh we are to song be tired of the knee level the ankle level you must insist that within these few minutes we have lord i must leave shout 2019 with the fullness of joy the fullness of joy when that devilish sickness leaves your body it perfects your joy when god speaks to your life and destiny and opens the gates for you it perfects your joy hallelujah praise the lord the woman at the well when she met jesus she ran with joy and called other people and said come see a man that has shown me has told me what i have done your joy must be perfected you are going to pray what one thing do you trust god to do tonight for you to walk away with the fullness of joy the bible says he that told he that told you have not asked but now he said ask so that you can receive for everyone that asketh receiveth so ask so that you will receive so that your joy may be full lift your voice mina inside and outside please ask lift your voice and pray i'm about to pray for you ask is any man afflicted let him pray if you've been evil know how to give good gifts 
to your children how much more will your heavenly father please ask ask for yourself some of you are asking for your ministry some of you are asking for your family outside make sure you are praying you are asking ask in faith Father, I rejoice, but place fresh fire upon my life for the sake of my ministry. Ask, Lord, turn my financial captivity around. Ask, turn my spiritual life around. Please ask, pray. some of you are asking that God will bring your family out from the bed of affliction like Peter said Pastor Peter was sharing he said some of you need God to solve foundational issues take the pain away oh God Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, Mina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything yeah. Oh, may my He will take your pain away and then he'll give you joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. has come oh, 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 oh. your rising has come I'm prophesying oh, 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 oh. your help has come oh, 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 oh. your 
Very simple song says, I, 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 my help has come when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream hear me then our mouths were filled with laughter laughter and said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev it says that they that sow in tears they shall reap in joy I have about five minutes or so and I want to pray for you to lend my support in this program and I want you to release your faith within these five minutes because your life must change things will be redirected and reordered within these minutes you are under a very strong influence this morning that can turn things around the worshipers have come to set the atmosphere i've spoken to you about joy you are receiving first the oil of gladness it's a real grace you will find out that no challenge in your life will sustain the power to bring you to a point where you say God is unfaithful you will stand before what made you cry before shout and still laugh and say the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I be afraid of shall not fear what man does to me I'm not an orphan there is a God in heaven Jehoshua the one who saves But I also know that tonight there will be restoration. I also know that tonight there will be healings. I also know and believe that tonight there will be accelerations. And the Lord will do this and bring honor and glory to his name. The Lord will do this and honor this program. Now let me pray for you. It's very funny what is about to happen now let me explain it before i pray i have sensed in every meeting that i go to now among the many prayers that i pray for the people god continues to impress me to release the grace for speed let me tell you the truth people of god the king's business requires haste we do not have all the time are we together now paul admonishes us to redeem time that means if time is against you, there must be an advantage that comes upon your life. That's the first prayer. I want to pray this prayer for speed. And you will be amazed at the way many of you will make strange acceleration after this prayer. Spiritually, and then it follows every other area. Now, when I pray this prayer, listen very carefully. I don't intend to take our time. It's already morning. The hand of the Lord will come upon many people and you will find them physically running for some of them. I say this so that you please can help them. Praise the Lord that as you bring them, you are helping them so they don't injure themselves inside and outside. It must happen. It's the way God does it. I, I don't know why he does it. He just causes people to act out what is happening to them in the realm of the spirit. And some of you, this day will not break without you seeing the physical manifestation you will finish the program and before you are going home you are seeing text messages and all kinds of things coming every man ministers according to the measure of grace given to him it's a sin to propose things you do not have the grace to defend hallelujah can I pray for you I stand in agreement with your dear pastor and the men of God in this place and I want to pray for you now father thank you because you honor your word and your name 
I want to pray for you right now, my God. I'm already just seeing a cloud. I'm even barely lifting my hands and I'm just seeing fire fall on people. I'm going to count three. And the moment that happens, this grace for speed, it will be very fast. We may not be able to take testimonies from the prayer for the sick because we have to honor the remaining part of the meeting. But then at the same time, as I release this grace for speed, I pray by the God of heaven that let it produce in people's lives. Father, thank you for the anointing that you have granted. Your people need to be shifted to very strange levels. And I declare right now at the count of three, may that grace find a destiny and a family that must accelerate. Get ready now. One, my God. Two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Please help them. Shadis Kaparusiata. I stretch my hands by the Spirit. I decree and declare. Can you bring them out if it's possible? I release that grace. Speed now. I shift you by the Spirit. Enter strange dimensions of spiritual possibilities. The Spirit of God upon you. Please help them. Speed by the Spirit of God. Speed in ministry. Speed in life. I declare it upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I'm praying. Please bring them out if you can. I just want to pray very quickly. I'm seeing the Lord restoring. And I'm seeing quite a number of people, up to 31 people. God is saying, I'm restoring the years and restoring things you lost. I don't know where you are, but I stretch my hands right now. May that anointing rest upon you now. Sheparus Kabarata. I command restoration. Here at Shout 2019, I speak and I release that grace. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Bring them out. Receive restoration now by the Spirit of God. Restoration now. And I will restore the years that the canker worm the palmer worm has eaten i speak by the spirit me now hear me i don't care what you have lost i stand by the god of heaven and i declare restoration to you now restoration now hallelujah please bring them out pastor sir not this man the other man yes you this one come no sir this man this very one no not you sir this man lift your hands the lord is restoring your fire and your grace step into a new dimension of fire and grace the lord is restoring that fire and that grace i want to pray now i'm seeing a grace for the prophetic in a strange way the eyes that see this will come on many people i'm praying right now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus i'm seeing ancient prophetic wells being stirred up again here at shout pastor Pedro prophesied and said that this is the center and out of this place will come a shofar to the nations at the count of three on men and women you must drink of that wine one two three shout jesus take that grace now let there be that staring from your spirit man in the mighty name of jesus i release that grace the front to the back outside enter that realm you have seen it in your visions you have seen it in your dreams shout 2019 i release that grace upon you the eyes that see and the ears that hear the lord is showing me oil coming on people's hands and the lord is saying it's a grace for results it's a grace for performance i pray for you i don't know who in the crowd inside and outside is under the sound of my voice 
but I'm speaking right now the mantle that must rest on you for strange results receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost it comes on you like fire strange results in your life you reign you reign hello you reign you reign you reign hello you reign you reign you reign hello you reign yeah na 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 yeah na 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 yeah yeah na 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 I decree and declare that every force that is not on of God sitting on anyone's destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be liberated now be liberated now in the mighty name of Jesus please hear me I'm speaking to everyone here whether politicians business people in ministry everything you should have achieved this year until now your hands is yet to do it i stretch my hands obtain the grace the finishers anointing you must finish it before this year is done in the name of jesus christ i pray concerning everything that is dead or dying in your life hear the word of the lord under this atmosphere of praise i command it to come back to life now hello scriptures exalt us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.